Natasha and today's video is going to be my December 2013 favourites video. I will also be doing a best of 2013 video so if you aren't already subscribed to my channel make sure you check hit the little subscribe button down below um, so you can stay tuned for that and all of my other videos of course. I've got a few things to show you guys today. I'm just going to start off with the beauty, then I'll move on to the fashion and then show you guys a couple of random things that I've been liking. My favourite I've got is a perfume and this is the Rihanna Nude Perfume. I'm really not a fan of Rihanna to be completely honest but this perfume is seriously amazing. It smells so good. I think I feel like it's a perfume that a lot of people would like because it's very, as the name suggests, it's very like muted and neutral, but it's still really, really, really lovely. Next is a lip product, and this is the Bourjois Paris Color Boost Chain Glossy Finish Lipstick in number one Red Sunrise. And I've just been wearing this all the time this month. It reminds me a lot of the Revlon Kissable Balm Stains, but I think I like this formulation better. Either apply this really all over your lips and get a really vibrant colour, or you can dab a little bit on and then blend it out and you get a really nice, like it looks like you've just been sucking on a lollipop or something like that. Next favourite I have is a primer, and this is the Benefit The Pore Professional Pro Balm to minimise the appearance of pores primer. Like when I apply it on my face, it does really minimise the appearance of my pores and it gives me a really, really smooth surface to apply my foundation on. So this product is a little bit weird because it's not actually a makeup product, it's actually a brush. And this is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. And the reason I like this is because I'm very pale and usually when I apply a bronzer, if I apply it here with a normal brush, it will just pack on way too much product and make me look very, very muddy. But this brush just applies the perfect amount and I use it in combination with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Really nice to blend out and give a really natural contour. Now I've got a hair favourite and this is my MUK Curl Stick and this is a detachable curl stick so it comes with three different little heads and I've had this for almost two years now. I think I got it for Christmas two years ago and I left it in Melbourne in about July at my friend's house and I finally got it back so I've been making good use of this this month. It just creates the most natural looking curls and they last really really long and it's really really easy to use and yeah, you can create curls with this super super quick, you just wrap it around and you're good to go. So I've got some makeup wipes and these are the Woolworths Smart Skin Moisturising Facial Cleansing Wipes. And I've always been a big fan of the Neutrogena makeup wipes but the only thing is that they are $8 a packet. So I checked these out and these are $2 from Woolworths, usually on sale for $1 and they are like not as good as the Neutrogena ones, but almost as good. I only have one fashion favourite this month, and this is this kimono from Toby. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've been loving florals recently, really in getting back into florals. So, yeah, I really like this. I feel like it's so bohemian, and it has the lovely fringe, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this at Falls Festival, which I am going to in two days' time. I'm so excited. Literally every time I wear this out, I get at least two compliments from strangers on it. So if I can find a link to it, I will leave it in the down bar. As far as random favourites go, I've been loving watching Vlogmas. Um, mostly Megan Rosette, Sierra Marie Makeup and Lumen Like Lindsay. I've just been constantly watching all their Vlogmas videos and I think I feel really, really creepy when I watch them, but I don't know, it's just really interesting to see how other people live their lives, especially girls who are, you know, on the other side of the world. As far as music goes, I've been travelling up and down the coast quite a bit this month to visit my family, so I've just been constantly listening to Triple J. Also, you should check out Triple J Unearth because they have some amazing artists that are really, really small and yeah, you can find some amazing music on there and it's all free to download and everything like that. So yeah, I think that is all I have got to talk about for my December favourites. Again, my best of 2013 video will be coming very, very soon. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas and Happy New Year. Have an amazing new year. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.